Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang the Wizard to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. What's up? Oh, oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so what you got up your sleeve today? Today I've got a really cool trick for you. It is called Into Thin Air. Yeah, okay. no. Oh, you want to try it? All right. Okay. Hey, guys, why don't you guys try at home as well? Yeah. Um, so, so it's, it it's, it's, you lean forward, you, you lean, lean forward, forward, and then as you lean back to, to when you take it, then you drop it. So it's in that back when you drop it. I am so good. I hope you guys can do it at home as well. But remember, keep it a secret. Shh, don't tell nobody. Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang the Wizard to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. What's up? Oh, oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so what you got up your sleeve today? Hi, it's Wolfgang here, and I've got some really super magic to show you today. You're gonna have such fun learning this trick. It is called the 21 card trick. Really a great trick. 21 card trick. 21 card trick. You okay, need to do, wait till I'm 21. I, have, uh, I happen to have 21 cards up my sleeve right here. All okay. right. They're random cards. I admit you it's a trick pack because they're all different there and they're all the same on that side. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, look. I'm going to place them down over here like that, okay? okay? So you can see there. That's just random cards there. So we'll put some more over here. Okay, and then some more over here. 
like that. Now I want you, you don't tell anyone, okay. I want you to look at any card and memorize it. The only thing is you tell me in which row the card is, okay? Today sometime, we say, yeah? Right. That one. It's one of those? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it again, okay? And now I want you just to tell me uh, in which row the card is now, but once I've counted them all down, right? So okay. there we go, a little bit more. I don't play cards for big stakes, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> uh, okay, so in which row is it now? In that one. In that one, yeah. right, okay. So I'll tell you what, we'll just... Uh, I'll flick my fingers twice to okay. make it twice as snappy. All right. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to count them down like that, okay? <laughs> what was your card, by the way? The next card oh, I turn no. over is your card. No, it's oh, not. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. It's three of clubs. You'll never get it, man. The three of clubs. <laughs> he, Ooh! <clears throat> he, uh, yeah, he got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. I suppose you want to know how it works now. Of don't course, you? I want to know how it works. I'll show you how it works. It's so cool. Okay, you need, that's why it's called the 21 card trick. You need 21 cards. Oh, yeah, okay, right, 21 <laughs> cards, okay. You're gonna make three rows of seven, so that's two, two three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and these will be seven as well. Now, you ask anyone to look at any card, all they have to tell you is in which row it is. Seeing that we used the three of clubs earlier on, let's stick to the three of clubs now. Okay? Three of clubs, okay. So, you the magician, they're going to tell you in which row, you don't know the card. So right. they say it's in the middle one. Okay. The row in which the card is, you always pick up second. Second. Okay, so you can pick that or that up, but you pick that up second. Okay. Okay, now I've picked them up down like it. Now I'm okay. going to count the cards across. This is count important. Count the cards across. So across. So I'm going to make three rows going across like okay. this. Okay. Now I ask them to tell me in which row the card is now. Right? Again, you can see it's in the middle row. It's in the middle. Okay? Right. So now again, that's always the row you pick up second. All right. Right? Now all you have to do is count 11 cards from the top and it's the 11th card. Look. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten. ten. But uh, oh, self-working. And that, my friends, was the 21 card trick. Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang, the wizard, to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. Musa! Oh. oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so what you got up your sleeve today? Next we've got the jumping toothpick. Jumping toothpick? And this is such a really fantastic trick. Musa, are you ready for this? I am ready I, for this. I see that again. Look, one last Please. time I'll show it works. You got to Watch love that Watch closely, guys. Got, okay, and there we go. There it is. And it's no, 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 no. no. Yeah, well, one more time. It's, it's, it's. Oh, you got to get that the rough part of the column material. The there. Yeah, the static. How about that? 
Do you want to know how it works? Please. Okay, it's really easy. Okay. Now, you've got your set of toothpicks. I've, I've got, got mine here. Okay. You hold it, your right hand, that's your index finger, that's your middle finger, right? Index is this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the remember, jumping, toothpick. jumping toothpick because it jumps around. Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang, the wizard, to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. What's up? Oh, oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so what you got up your sleeve today? Today I've got a really crazy trick for you, and it's called the rabbit from hat. I see you, hey, hey, you're like, just there, huh? I'm just there. I, I see you've got a cool hat on there. I know. I mean, <laughs> would it impress you if I could appear a rabbit from that hat for you? Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Just check, are there any rabbits or anything in there? No? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. No rabbits. Are you sure? Nothing. I mean, even I mean, if there was a rabbit and I did that, I mean, it wouldn't be a rabbit anymore, okay? Right. I am going to produce a rabbit from this hat. Watch this. ba da ba <laughs> oh man, that was really weird. Okay, listen, there's nothing in there. Let's see if I. Ah, I got. Uh, there he is. I got him. I got. Uh, oh, he got away again. But he left the carrot. <laughs> Can you believe that? Where's the carrot coming? Oh, that was so oh, cool. Man. So you have to show me. Okay. This yeah. is this is really easy. Okay. And I mean, especially the gag with the hair. You know, it's just so <laughs> sad. Right. Now, of course, not all of us have top hats lying around, but you can get them in secondhand shops, and okay. a lot of grandfathers still have these. So you might have, you might well find one in your mum's cupboard somewhere. Right. So get a top hat. Get a top hat. Right. A cool magician's hat. Now. That's why I got long sleeves on. The carrot was hidden in my sleeve. There you go, the sleeves yeah, it's again. All that sleeve stuff yeah. there, right? Then it stays there. So you show the hat, and you go, okay, I'm going to produce a rabbit from the hat. So you go, pa da, eh, hey. Hopefully people catch it and laugh, all right? Okay. Now what you do is now you make as if you're grabbing one, but while you're doing that, you're actually pulling that out of there, putting that in there, and you're like fighting. You go, oh, he got away, but he left the carrot. Okay. All right, I get it. You get it, and that was called the rabbit, rabbit from, from the hat, hat trick.
Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang, the wizard, to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. Musa! Oh, oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so, what you got up your sleeve today? Today, we've got a really cool trick over here. It's called the ring on rubber band. What is it all about, Musa? Well, it's about a, a ring on a rubber band. On a rubber band. And I we've mean, got a rubber uh, band. Yeah. And ah. I, I, happen, I happen to have a ring. Okay. Okay. It's stamped. It's solid gold. It's stamped nickel, but that's only the price. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to just snap this rubber band. Oh, oh, it's one of those strong ones. Oh, man. Okay, let's just try again. There we go. Okay. So we've got a rubber band. Check it out. It's broken. It's snapped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, now, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the ring onto the rubber band over over here like that. So do you agree that the rubber band is moving, it's going up, and the ring is at the bottom? Yes. There's no way the ring can really move up. No. I mean, if, if it did move up, it would almost be as if it was an illusion that it's actually moving up the rubber band without my hands even moving apart. It's moving upwards. <laughs> isn't that scary? Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Guys, that can you actually see this? It's moving upwards. I mean... I mean, that's like really magic. Mmm. Um, Would you want to try it? Yes. Okay, see, see yeah, just, that's just, this. no, no, nothing's going to happen. Moving it's moving upwards. In your imagination, yeah, okay. It's moving. Now, you need a rubber band and you need any ring. Okay, you can okay. even use a key ring, ring, whatever, doesn't okay. matter. Now, when I stretched the rubber band between my hands like this, All right. my hands never moved, nothing else. But what happened is I kept a big chunk, about half of it, in this hand that's at the bottom. Oh. Over there, okay? Now, that's the secret. Now, what happens is, I'm going to show it like this. If I do that, and I release with my, you see it's the thumb and index ring. If I uh -huh. release the pressure, what actually happens is I'm letting the rubber band move out, and you can see it's getting shorter, uh -huh. and that's causing the move. Oh, that's so stupid, isn't it? It looks uh -huh. like an elevator. Yeah, yeah. But if you, of course, got it behind your hand like that, and you stretch it, and, and there it is there, nobody sees that, and you just release it really slowly like that, you can actually see it moves up and it freaks people out. No one knows how to do it. Oh, it's so and then, cool. And then once it's reached the end, you know, you don't want it to shoot out of your hand, then you say, look, everything's normal and there's no, no telltale things here at all. <laughs> Isn't that really great? So then you've learned another one. And that was the ring, ring on rubber, rubber band. Hey guys, I'm waiting for Wolfgang, the wizard, to come teach me a new trick to add to my book of tricks. But as usual, you know how magicians are, you have to wait for them. Now you see them, now you don't. Musa! Oh, oh man, please stop doing that. <laughs> so, what you got up your sleeve today? And we've got a really cool trick for you today, which is called the handkerchief escape. Musa, this is, this is a hot the one. The great escape. Yeah, yeah, the, the greater, the Houdini handkerchief. Okay, we have a glass, right? Mm -hmm. We have a red handkerchief as... <gasps> no, 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 please, stop. <sighs> okay, right, as well as uh, this one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red hanky okay. and I'm going to tuck it into the glass like that. So it's locked in the glass. Let's keep it in there nicely. Okay, are you happy with that? Okay. Okay, right, yeah, the bottom solid, it's all a solid glass, okay? okay? 
Yeah, yeah. Don't get out a lot, do you? <laughs> so I'm going to take this, this, this handkerchief now, and I'm going to put the glass underneath it like that, and I'm going to seal this up there with a rubber band. So now the red handkerchief is sealed inside the glass. Okay. You agree? Wouldn't it be cool if I could just give it a shake like that, and the red oh, how did that happen? What? Comes right out of there. And I mean, this is cool because the glass is still over there. That's the opening, and it came straight out. Huh? Mm. No, 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 you have to show us that. Mm. Guys, pay close attention. Now, first of all, you can use any color handkerchief, providing color it's red. <laughs> okay, right. And you need a bigger handkerchief, like a napkin is a good thing. Now, this is actually quite sneaky. What happens is, you can use a smaller glass. It's easier to do with a smaller glass. You okay. tuck the handkerchief in there. Tuck the handkerchief in there. Right, okay. okay. That is nice, nice in there. Now, what you do is you put, you, you take the napkin, and you put the glass under the napkin like that. Okay. But of course, what I did under there, I turned the glass around. Oh. Yeah. Okay, but this is where you've got to be, be clever because what I do is when I'm holding that there and I'm putting the glass underneath it, I just quickly let it turn like that and put that over. That's why you need a glass that is the same on the top and bottom. So in essence, it's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, otherwise people see. So it's, there's a glass, you just do that, and of course, when the rubber band is on there like this, Bobbing. I mean, the bottom is open. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So if you want to be creative, you can put your hand in there and pull it out. Or I always think it's more visual if you shake like that and it falls out. You go, wow. Ah. Okay. Then, okay. You, then you remove that. And now, of course, comes a ticket. When you take the glass out, you immediately, as you grab it from the back, just flick it and take it out in the same way. All right. I'm ready to try. try that. Okay, right. Yes, and then, bada bing, bada bang. Ta-da! How about that whistle? Well done. And that was the handkerchief escape. Debra, I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? Oh, this is a really great trick. It's called Spell the Cards. Mm -hmm. And no matter how many times you show it to your friends, they will never be able to do it. Okay? <laughs> so, I have a pile of cards. Mm -hmm. These are all the spade cards. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to spell them in logical sequence. So the first card that you get is an ace. So I'm okay. going to go A and just take that card to the bottom, C and E, and you see that's the ace, which I throw away. The mm -hmm. next one is the two, so I'm going to go T, W, O, and that's the two. Right, so far that's pretty easy, but it gets even weirder. What's now three? <laughs> T, H, R, E, E, and that's the three. Now, you know, how, how were they set up now? People don't understand it. The four, that's F, O, U, Oh, there's the four. And then the five is was F I V E. And the six is S I X. Is that cool? And then what? what? Seven. S E V E N. And eight E I G H T. Eight. Nine N I N E. 
I mean, they only have a few cards if now 10 T E N, and then it's Jack J A C K, and then it's Queen Q U E E N, and then it's King K I N G, and that's the King. Wow, talk about spell the card, Wolfie. I think you've cast a spell on us. Can you please explain it? Well, you know, when I explain it, you realize I didn't cast a spell, and it was actually quite silly and easy, but I'm glad you were impressed. Now, what you need is you need any pack of cards mm -hmm. and you take out either all the spades, the hearts, the diamonds or the clubs. Mm -hmm. I've taken out all the spade cards and obviously the secret is the order of the cards. So get your pens ready guys, let's start writing. Right, so the order of the cards is the 9, the 6, the 3, the jack, the 10, the 5, the 7, the 2, king, 8, ace, 4 and queen. So from ace to king you've got all the cards over here. So the nine, I'm holding them face up, but when I turn it around, the queen is on top. Mm -hmm. Now all you do is you just spell the cards, starting from ace. And at the end of every word, so mm -hmm. the last letter, is the one you turn over. So I go A, C, and then I turn the E over, that's the ace. A. Then it's two is T, W, and the O, you turn over. Well guys, I guess if you can spell and count, you can do this trick. But only in English. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Guys, time flies when you're having fun, and so must I. Debra, I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? Have you ever seen magicians do that trick where they say, pick a card, I'll find your card, and they do, and you're like, wow! <laughs> okay, I'm going to teach you that, but I'm going to teach you an interesting version of it. But first of all, I'm going to fool you with it. <laughs> what you need is a number of cards, which I'm going to place down here, and I want you to watch their random cards. Okay, okay, there we go. Right, so you can see I'm putting down any cards. Okay, there, and I'm just going to put down three rows of cards like this. So you can see they're all different. That's very important. Are you still happy with that? That I haven't cheated at all? I'll place the rest of the pack away. So there are three rows. I want you to choose any card, but don't tell me what it is. But tell me in which row. Is it in the first row, the second row, or the third row? Okay. I choose in the second row. So in the middle row, in mm -hmm. other words. Okay, are you sure about that? Yeah. Right. I'm just going to pick them up. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to put them down again, and I want you to tell me in which row, once I've put them all down, mm -hmm. where is your card now, right? So we'll just put them down like that. Now I want you to tell me which row is it in now, once I've put them all on the table. It's in the third row. In the third row? Oh, it's smooth. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to do it one last time and then I'll identify your card for you. Okay. Okay, so which row will it be in once I've placed them all down this last time like that? It's in the middle row. In the, it's back where it was in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, that makes it tough. Look, I'll tell you what. I'm going to now, without even looking at the cards, mm -hmm. just count down a few like that. Okay, face down. What was your card, out of curiosity? Because the next card I turn over is your card. It was four diamonds. Ooh! <laughs> isn't that amazing? It's not amazing, it's magic!
Abracadabra, I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good, now take me to the best magician in the land. Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? Today, we're going to do magic with money. Ooh. Everybody likes that. <laughs> okay, now, first of all, I'm going to take a piece of paper. I happen to have one of my little posters here. I'll tear it in half like that. Mm -hmm. Which half may I use? Top half. The top half, right. So I'm going to fold it up real small. You know, I lent a friend of mine some money the other day for plastic surgery. It was really doff. Now I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, OK. So I'm going to fold this up. Can you see it quite clearly over there? Uh -huh. Now I'm going to move it up and down. And when you move it up and down, something weird happens. It's a piece of paper, right? Yeah. And when you unfold it again like this, it changes into a brand new 20 rand note. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, that's not the trick I'm going to teach today. I'm going to do something much nicer. Uh -huh. I want you to have a look at that 20 rand note. Mm -hmm. You see it's got serial numbers on it. Yeah. Yeah? Now, I want you, I don't want to look what you're doing, so I'm going to look straight into the camera to the people at home, uh -huh. and I want you to read all the numbers on there. There's a serial number. Just read the numbers, like 1, 5, 7. Just read them okay. out once for me. 8, 2, 8, 6, 2, 6, 9. Right. Now I want you to leave one out and read out the numbers again, but in a different order. Okay. Six, eight, eight, two, six, nine. Two. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now that takes memory, doesn't it? How did I do it? I'm going to explain it to you. Because people think, wow, to remember numbers so quickly, and then you mix up the order, mm -hmm. and you knew which one they left out. How, it's unbelievable. But it's actually a very simple trick. Mm -hmm. And no one ever thinks about it or realizes what you've done. You can use any money note. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, when I ask you to read the, the numbers out, I ask you to do it slowly. While you, and this is so sneaky. Mm -hmm. While you were reading them out, I added them together. So you read out 8, eight 2, eight. so that was 10, plus 8 was 18, plus 6 was 24, plus 2, 26, eight. plus 6 was 32, yeah, 32, plus 9 was 41. Mm -hmm. So nobody realized I was adding them up when you read them out. Okay. Now when I s asked you to read them out again in any order and leave one out, you were minus I was adding them up and the total was 39, and my original total was 41, so I knew two was missing, two was the one you left out. I oh. mean, duh, how <coughs> stupid. But you know how great this is? Because it keeps your mind working, it gets your maths addition up, and you're having fun doing it, and no one ever knows how you did it. Ooh, it's amazing. But time flies, and so must I. Debra, I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. So 
Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? I've got a trick I call the bet. The of bet. course, if you're not 18, you can't bet, OK? But this is a really fun thing. You can have fun with your friends with it. I've got a number of cards that have got win and lose written on them, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them in a half circle like that around here. Okay, so they're random ones. I'm not showing you which card is where. They're just random like that. Now, I've got over here a piece of cardboard which has got numbers written on it. One, two, four, and eight. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do, it's really easy. You can take those four numbers and do anything you want with them. You can add and subtract them as you want to. For example, you can go one plus two is three plus four. And you can, plus, you can add all them, or you can go one... Or you can mix them, you can start with the 8. You can go 8 plus 1 is 9, minus 2 is 7, plus 4 is 11. You can do any combination you want to add in and subtracting. Whatever total you get will count to the card and you will lose. I bet you I won't. If you win, wow, that's cool. Oh. But okay, so it's up to you. This, I've got this felt pen. Mm -hmm. I know because I just felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so there you go. You just write down as you wish. Don't let me trick your thoughts. You use any combination of them, and then whatever total you get, you lose. So I must write them down. Okay. I want to say two. Two. Plus one. Plus one, yeah. It's three. three. Plus four is seven. Plus eight. It's 15. 15. Mm -hmm. So if we count to the 15th card, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Win. You lose. Oh, no. Look, I'll give you another chance. Okay. okay, maybe you think I was cheating. So now do it completely the other way around. Mix them up. See if okay. you can... I mean, I want you to win. I really do. <laughs> oh, of course you yes. do. 8 minus 4. Is 4. Mm -hmm. Plus 2 is, is 6. 6. Minus 1. Is 5. Is 5. So you do the honours and count to the fifth card. OK, one, two, three, four, five. And turn it over. <laughs> you lose again. I mean, had you had the fourth one, you would have had a win. You had a win. I can't believe that you lost. Would you like me to teach it to you? You betcha. Now, look, I've taken cards. Mm -hmm. Let me just pick them all up. These are regular um, plain, blank playing cards with nothing printed on them. But you can use slips of paper, anything you want to. You don't have to write win and lose on them. You can have any two things written on them. But I've got 16 cards. Okay. Eight of them have lose written on them, and the other eight have win. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've alternated them. Lose, win, lose, win, lose, win. Right? Okay. So the top one, when I count them out, is must be. That one must be at the bottom. Must be a lose card. Okay. So all the odd numbers, when I place them down, there's 16 cards. So number one, three, five, seven, must mm -hmm. always be the lose ones. Uh -huh. And that's the nice thing, because in the beginning, you show you have a mixture. So people think they stand a fair chance, yeah. but they don't realise they're alternating. Okay. So you count them down in a nice half circle like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the, the funny thing with these numbers that I've given you is no matter what you do with the 1, the 2, the 4, the 8, no matter how you add or subtract them, you your answer will always be an odd number. Yeah. And that's the secret to it, but nobody realises that. So it doesn't matter what odd number you get, for example, the 5 will always be loose. You can always just show one on either side when you had 15, now, if you have seven, two, four, six, seven, there's again the lose. Mm -hmm. And that's how easy it is. And people will try endlessly to get different totals, and they will, but yeah. there'll always be an odd number. So it's as easy as that. What do you say? It's as easy as one, two, four, eight. But time flies when you're having fun, and so must I. Debra, I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Ciao. 
Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? I'm going to teach you how to read minds. Read minds? Mm, that's mind-blowing. Would you like that? I mean, that's so cool, okay? Absolutely. So, um, you know, you know, mind over matter, you don't mind, I don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll stop with that now. Now, I've got over here a regular month of the calendar year. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter which one. You've now chosen one freely. We've got May over here. And I'm going to draw a square. In fact, wait, just show me 60 numbers I can draw a square around. Okay. okay, over there. So those 60 numbers, there's four rows down, four rows across. You had a free choice. This is important, okay? Now, I want you to name me any number in that square of those 60 numbers, and then I will circle it. But before we do that, I'm just going to look at that, and I'm going to, okay, the numbers you're going to choose are going to add up to a certain amount. Right, so I'm going to, let's see, um, here we go. That's it, right? I've got a prediction here now. Okay. So, I want you to name any number of those 60 numbers in that block. Mm, eight. Eight, right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to circle eight with my permanent marker. I know so, because it says so on here. <laughs> I know it's rubbed off. <laughs> okay, right, so we circle eight, we cross out all the numbers that are um, vertical to it and horizontal to it. Now, okay. name a free choice. I don't want to influence you. Name any number. 21. Right, so I'm going to circle the number and cross out all the numbers horizontally and vertically from it, like that. Now, any other number? Mm, 27. 27, okay. Once in our circle it, and we cross out all the numbers there. And now, one more number. My favorite, number 12. Number 12, mm -hmm. right. We circle that one, that's it, and put a line through the other numbers. Mm -hmm. Did I in any way influence the numbers that you chose? No. So you had a total free choice. Now, if we add them up, 8 and 12 is 20, mm -hmm. plus 21 is 41, plus 27 is 68. Yes, it is. Could I have known that final number beforehand? No. Remember, it was any month in the calendar year. Yeah. You took any 60 numbers. I wrote down a number over here, and look at that. It's 68. Now, that's scary, but it's actually quite logical, too. <laughs> Would okay. you, would you like to know? You want to know how it works? Yeah, please. Okay, I'll show you how it works. What you have to do is you have to get 16 numbers together in a block. Okay. So you can't have where one number is missing in a corner. So it has to be a row of four and four, okay. right? You draw a square around them. Now look at this. This is really freaky. You take the diagonally opposite numbers. So 26 and 8 is 34. Even if you go this way, you see 5 and 29 is still 34. So without anyone realizing, you get the spectator to choose the square. Now what you do is, without them knowing, you add those two together, in this case 34, and you double it and you write it down, as I did, as my prediction, 68, right? 34 times 2 is 68. This the spectator does not see. Now you say to them, circle any number in this block. Now the secret here is, once they've circled the number, you have to put a line through or cross out all the numbers horizontally and vertically of that, yeah. as we've done here. Because that eliminates a lot of other numbers. Then they choose another number, like you did 21. Mm -hmm. We cross out everything vertically and horizontally, yeah. right? Then you had a few more numbers left to choose from. You chose 27. Again, we crossed out vertically and horizontally everything in the row of 27. And then the last one that was left was 12. And no matter which 16 numbers you were ever, the total of that will always be double the total of the diagonally opposite numbers. And because you've given them a free choice, it's a bit psychological. Everyone goes, this must be real. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's magic. It's crazy <laughs> magic. Okay. And there you, you like the, the hero uh, amongst your friends because you can do things that no one else understands with everyday items. Wow. As you say, ooh. But guys, time flies when we're having fun, and so must I. <laughs>
Kadabra. I'm about to make a magic brew. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Salamina, I was expecting you. I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick are you going to show us today? I don't know if you can call it a magic trick. I'd mm -hmm. say it's, it's skill. Put it this way. If you want to impress your friends, your parents, but most of all, your math teacher, this is the thing to do. Okay. Basically, you're going to get someone mm -hmm. to name you a few numbers, and before they can add them together with a calculator, you've got the answer like that. And it's three-digit numbers, so it's really impressive. But the secret, as you'll learn a little later on, mm -hmm. is really easy. And everyone will think you're an Einstein or somebody. You said faster than a calculator. Much faster. In, in fact, instantaneous. You can challenge your friends. You'll be able to add up faster than anyone else. OK, let's do it. I want you to give me any three-digit number, but all the numbers must be different. OK. One, four, eight. Okay, so I'm going to write one, four, eight. Give me another number. Two, five, seven. Okay, two, five, seven. And one more. Three, one, six. Three, one, six, <laughs> like that. So, you've written down your three numbers. Do you mind if I write down two as well? No, it's fine. So here goes. I'll do eight, five, one, and um, seven, four, two, without really looking at the paper. Now, okay. there are five three-digit numbers. If I give you the calculator to try and add them up, it'll take you a few seconds. But the answer is 2,314. 2, 3, 1, 4. Do you want to know how it works? Please, especially my maths teacher. It's very important when you get your first number that you have to ask the people to give you a three-digit number, but every number must be different. Uh -huh. So you can't have 333, okay. or you can't have 363. You can't have numbers, you must all be different. Yeah. So you said 148, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Then you said 257. You gave me another number, 316. Yeah. But now here comes the, the sneaky move, as they call it, or the secret to the whole lightning fast addition. The number I wrote now, the fourth number that I now wrote over here, right? This number corresponds with that top number over there, with the first number. So the number I write together with this must add up to nines. So 1 plus 8 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, and 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay? Then I wrote the next number, and that now corresponds with the second one over there. Again, adding to 9. So 2 plus 7 is 9, 5 and 4, and then that's the 2. Right? We've got those numbers. Now, I knew the answer beforehand, and I knew it quicker than you can do this with a calculator, because the secret now lies in this middle number here. Because all I do is I take 2,000, I take 2,000, I add this number to it in my mind, and it's easy, because you're just putting that three-digit number on there, so I get 2,316, and I subtract 2 from the last digit, so it makes it 2,314. So all I did was I plus 316, and I subtracted 2 from that, to the 2,000. And that is, in fact, the answer that we got over here. So once you know that, you already know the answer. So as soon as that last one's written, you immediately give the answer. You can even make a prediction once that one's there already. By the time they've actually taken the calculator out, you've got the answer. Wow, that's scary, isn't it? Very. And since Wolfie calls this trick lightning edition, I'm out of here like lightning. Cheers, guys.
Abracadabra, I'm about to make a magic broom. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick have you got up your sleeve for us today? Well, I thought, you know, we've all got a few dice lying around the house with mm -hmm. our various board games and things like that. So why don't we do another prediction trick with dice? Now, just out of curiosity, did you know that one is actually only called a die? Oh. Yeah, one is called a die, two and more, the plural, are dice, okay? Now, unfortunately, if you roll these, they don't throw sixes. I wish they did. <laughs> now, what I want you to do is, I'm not going to look, mm -hmm. I'll face the other day, and you just have to listen very carefully to my instructions. But they're very easy, okay? Mm -hmm. You can even try that at home if you want to. What I want you to do is roll them. Anyway, you just roll the dice, so that you get three different numbers coming up. You've done that? Uh -huh. I want you the numbers that are facing up now, the three yeah. different numbers, I want you to add them together. Okay. Have you got the total? Um, yeah. Pick it up, turn it on its head. Have you done that? You've done that? Uh -huh. The number that's facing up on that particular die now, add it to the total you got earlier on. Okay. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now pick up that same die, pick that up, roll yeah. it again. Now that you've rolled that die, the number that's come up there, add that to your previous total. Okay? okay. If I look down, mm -hmm. I mean, you've moved them around. Yeah. I can't know the total you got to. Of course you can't. Of course I can. It was 22. <coughs> Not bad, eh? Am I right? <sighs> no. uh, she's speechless. You know, I can talk for hours about things that leave me speechless. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you how it works. It's mathematical. You see, what people don't know, and it's a fact, is that every die, the opposite numbers, top and bottom, always add to seven. Mm -hmm. So if the top is four, the bottom is three. If the top is six, the bottom is one. one. Mm -hmm. okay? And that's the secret to this trick. All you do is, the numbers that are showing right at the end, you just add seven to them, and you get the same total that the person did. So what I ask you to do, we'll go through it quickly, easily. Okay. You ask them to roll the three dice. They roll them. Mm -hmm. They add the numbers that are facing the top. Okay. So you had four, four, and six, yeah. right? So that was 14. Okay. Uh -huh. I asked you to choose any one and to turn it on its head. Yeah. So you took the four, you turned it over, and there was three. And I said, you add that to your total. Yeah. So you added three to 14 you got. Then I asked you to pick the same die up and roll and it, roll it yeah. and it came to five. And I said, add that to your total. So 17 plus five was 22. 22. Right. Now, I look down. Okay, mm -hmm. and I saw the five that you just rolled, yeah. and I saw the four on the other die and the six on the other one. So six and four is ten, and five, five is fifteen. 15. That's what I saw. Remember, I said earlier on just add seven. So fifteen plus seven, twenty-two. 22. Your number, isn't that cool? That is really cool. So cool, it's crazy cool. Gotta fly. See you next time. Debra, I'm about to make a magic broom. Throw in a spider, a wig, and some sand. Good. Now take me to the best magician in the land. Ow. 
Salamina, I was expecting you. You were? I'm not in the business of magic for nothing, you know. Wow, this guy is even better than I thought. So, Wolfie, what magic trick do you have up your sleeve today? Well, this is actually really cool and really easy. I want you to watch carefully. Are you watching? Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a wonder watch. Every time I look at it, I wonder why I bought it. <laughs> okay, now, this has got to do with watches, okay, okay. and predictions. Now, I've got a piece of paper here, which you can clearly see is a picture of a clock, mm -hmm. right? Okay, it says time prediction. Now, I want you, in your mind, to look at any hour on that dial. Think of that hour. Guys, Wolfie doesn't actually know. I chose the number now, what I want you to do is I want you to add one to that hour. So if you thought of five o'clock, then you'll be have six, the number six okay. now. Okay. So have you done that? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty easy until now. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, what's going to happen now is I'm going to touch some numbers on the dial. Uh -huh. As I touch them, I want you to add further. So let's, for example, say you thought of the number five. Okay. I said to you add one. You've got six in your mind, yeah. right? Now I want you to add up to 20. So the first number I then touch, you go 7. The next one I touch, you go 8, until you reach 20. Are you with me? Okay. When you reach 20, you tell me to stop. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll stop on your number. Are you with me? Yes? Yes, I am. Now as I point to the hours on the clock, you keep on adding a number 1 to them every time. Okay. <laughs> so you've got the number you looked at. You've added 1, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the first one I'm touching. You added now to it. The next one... Keep on adding every time. And there's no ways I could know what's in your thoughts. Okay? Uh-huh. So I'm going to carry on like this. There, there, there. We've reached 20. Yes. And that is your number. Number seven, the hour you thought of. How did you do that? Extremely well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, only kidding. You want me to show you how it works? <laughs> it's really, really easy. Okay. And that's what's so nice. You fool all your friends. And you like the main person, you yeah? know? And, and yet, it's easy to do. Okay. Right. I asked you to think of any number on the clock, and you thought of seven, yes, right? I did. So I said to you, add a number to that, so you got eight. eight. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I said to you, I'm going to touch numbers. As I touch them, you carry on adding until you reach 20. Yeah. Right. So then you started with nine, 10, 11. Yeah. When you do this, you always start at the number six and go anti clockwise. So when I touched six, you went nine, yeah. right? And then when I touched 5, you went 10. ten. Mm -hmm. So 4 was 11, 3 was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. 17, 18, 19. So when we reached the number 20, my finger was on the number 7. Isn't that cool? Cool? So cool, I'll never look at time the same way again. And speaking of time, it's time for me to fly. Cheers.